Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now we're continuing on with the Roundup shows. Uh, not many people are watching these, but if you are tuning in for these, thanks very much for that. These are the best shows of the of the year. Uh, so people really should be tuning into these, but man, there you go. That's the way it goes. Uh, the reason I'm doing these kind of shows in this month is because for the last previous two years, this month has been slow uh, and it's gets slow again this month. So there you go. It's just how it happens in December for some reason. Uh, now, it was pretty easy for me to choose this video from May's selection because it's not only my favorite video from May, it's one of my favorite videos from the whole year. Uh, it's absolutely stacked video, five progressive, brutal tech death bands, or are they brutal, progressive tech death bands? Who knows? Uh, but man, they were five of the sickest bands that we've had on this channel, absolutely shredding out the sickest high-level quality music, uh, but particularly the last band, uh, Grey Lotus, it was the first time we checked him out on the channel and instantly recognized that man this band is kind of next level even for this kind of music uh, and we've checked him out again more since on the channel and I have realized man these are one of my favorite uh, bands that I've kind of found out via the channel because uh, I'm not only doing this channel for for you guys and you know to push for the push bands onto other people uh, I'm finding out bands doing this as well it's as much for myself uh, and this is one of the bands uh, Grey Lotus who I've really kind of recognized this year is an absolutely sick band uh, and hopefully we can keep checking them out more next year because uh, man they're just they just tick all the boxes for me super super nice so hope you enjoyed this video guys five bands 35 minute video uh, so it'll take up your time as well but man it's worth every second of this one one of the best shows of the year uh, and five sick bands to check out so hope you're having a good one guys that's going to be it from me cheers bye Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. I was in a great mood today until about 20 seconds ago when I hit uh, stop recording on the video, looked down and realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in and I just recorded 32 minute video of five bands of some brutal tech death music uh, that were absolutely sick and rinsing out about these bands, talking about them and everything else. Uh, and the video is totally useless because I didn't have my microphone plugged in. <sighs> I'll take a deep breath and we're going to just start again and do it all over again because these bands are absolutely sick and I've got to record a video for today. Now, I started out by saying if you've been watching this channel lately, we've been doing a lot of technical music, uh, brutal tech death, uh, we have progressive mathcore, which was even more kind of out there than the brutal tech death. And of course, we have the grind and everything as well, which is all extreme and, and technical as well. Uh, and you might be thinking to yourself, because even my audience, I'm sure, are struggling with a lot of these bands because they're just so high level and amazing uh that you know you've really got to be a high level musician to probably even give them a time of day at all uh and they probably sat there thinking man i wish this guy would just check out some more uh you know modern metalcore or something like that well tough because that's not what i'm going to do we're back on the <laughs> brutal brutal progressive tech death today and i'm telling you now because i've already recorded this video so i know firsthand uh, these bands are absolutely sick throwing in everything and the kitchen sink into their music Brutal, technical, death metal with a blackened edge and blast beats in there as well. Atmospheric edges, posty elements coming in there, progressive stuff coming in there. Just everything in this kind of music. Incredible music. So I've got five bands for you to check out. The vid's going to be about 32 minutes long. I know that already. The first band we're going to check out is from the UK. They sound super dope. They've got a great video. We've got a bunch of great videos to check out as well. Uh, this is God Eater. Their track is called The Hatchet. Let's enjoy this one again.
Sick one. This track's brand new, it just came out yesterday, but I thought we'd throw it straight in because this is the kind of jam that we've got on today. Brutal, technical death metal with a blackened edge. It comes through the music, real dark and nasty as well. Atmospheric, breaking out, regressive edges in there as well. Man, what more could you want from this kind of music? A super great high level, uh, high quality, sorry, video to go with it as well with a cool little you know, story going on in it. Dope. Man, these guys absolutely killed it. What a dope band. What a great energy. This next band's on the Unique Leader Records. This is Deathbringer. They've got a crazy track. This one is A Place to Exist. Let's give this one a spin. Great video for this one as well. Oh, 
absolutely killing it. Again, just got everything going on in this music, but at a fast pace. Brutal, technical, shredding, weird and mathy as well. The sickest drumming you're ever going to hear. Tinging away, got his extra little bell for that. Love him for that as well. And the heaviest vocal man you're ever going to hear. The only one thing you can't make out separately in this one, which we can in the rest of the bands today, uh, is the bass tone. And I do like to hear that in Tech Death, I must admit. It's nice to hear the bass the whole time for it to have its own tone, to cut through and do little riffy bits separate to the guitars. Uh, so I would like to hear that in this band as well. Uh, but man. What a sick band, just absolutely brutal as hell. The next band I'm going to check out is called Nervo Chaos. The track is called Beyond the Astral. Another cool vid for this one. Here we go. Hear that bass grinding away in this one. Separate to the guitar, sounds dope. Yeah, it's nice to hear the bass cut cutting through in this kind of music instead of it just being purely guitar driven and the bass just kind of supporting the low end of the guitar and these guys know that because they let the bass cut right through this mix and you can hear all the rattle and the fret rattle and stuff from the strings it just adds more grizzle and grind to the track uh, i like it a lot now these guys have got a pretty cool composition style at least on this track um repetitious and looping um, and kind of building in that way and just dropping you into different loops and repetitions. Uh, and it's interesting as well, when you do repetitions, once you go past the point of what would normally be the standard amount of repetitions, eight bars or whatever, you, it starts to get more hypnotic then and just kind of, you get locked into the loop. And I think that's what these guys are going for with this kind of music. Pretty cool, I enjoyed it. This is such a heavy track and the drumming is so ridiculous on this one. Just watch out for it. This is Beyond the Structure. Worms of Consumption is the, is the uh, track, which is a cool name. But this one's a lyric video, but it's still a dope lyric video. Check it out. Here we go. Such a heavy mix on this one as well. Evolution, 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 evolution
where you want to hear that bass. track this one is it's just so crunching in your ears like getting absolutely pounded in your ears uh, and the drums are so weighty and heavy as well just gives the whole track so much weight and to let the bass cut through again in the way you know these guys know yeah no need to tell us about letting the bass cut through we're on it uh, no problem man this is such a sick track and all the bands today have got a nice loud mix it's all peaking the limiter and everything else i haven't got to turn anyone up today but these guys are mixed and mastered about another 6 db louder than anyone else absolutely rammed as hard as it will go to the point where it's actually distorting the mix uh, but it suits the music i want to get absolutely pounded to death by death metal music i want the death from, from the death metal you know um and i just think the louder you go to a point obviously but even to the point of distorting the whole mix still sounds great because it just comes across with the power and the force you know the drums hit you harder the guitar riffs hit you harder and the vocal just roars down your ear even harder the last band we're going to check out today are on the Artisan Era channel. And if you don't know about that channel, uh, it's probably because you're not a high level <laughs> enough musician to have heard about it because the only music that comes out of the Artisan Era is Artisan music of super high level musicians making crazy technical death metal and stuff like that. Um, and most of the bands that come out of this channel are absolutely crazy amazing and are absolutely fall in love with them straight away but i will mention i've already said this once but i'll mention it again because it was worth mentioning there are some bands that come out on the artisan era who i feel are a bit too self-indulgent uh, and what i mean by that is 
Sure, they're incredible, high-level musicians, ridiculous on their instruments and thinking outside the box and creating, you know, next-level music. But some of these bands uh, on the Arts and Air or just, you know, the, this kind of music in general, in my opinion, have gone too far down their own rabbit hole to the point where, yeah, they're, they're, they're creating really technical music, but it's not actually very good to listen to especially as a new listener and someone just trying to check it out and see what it's all about because it's not got it's not got structure and it's not got form and it doesn't move from one section to the next nicely uh, and it's just a bit too self-indulgent for my opinion so even though I'm someone who, who I would say could handle the most technical of technical music because I love to put my ear to that stuff and get tested by this music and I you know I have done it I'm not a total noob to this stuff but there are some bands on the artists and era and just kind of super progressive bands in general that I do feel uh, you know need to rein it in a little bit and actually think about the structure and the composition of their tracks rather than just trying to show off on their instrument that's not the case for this band today. This band is absolutely dope as hell. Grey Lotus, their track is called Azure Rain. They got a dope video for this one as well, but this is next level, six minute track. Check it out. Ridiculous drumming. What I love is how these guys are blending atmosphere and slow moving swells with the most stupid, ridiculous blasting that there ever is. What, what a double edge to bring together. See, they're absolutely loving it.
It's such a buzz checking out bands like this, such high level, so brutal and heavy, massive, epic, atmospheric edges to their music as well. You see them in the video shredding and tapping out and absolutely loving playing their music as well. The sickest drumming that you're ever going to hear, most powerful drum kit you're ever going to hear as well. The vocals with that distortion and reverb to just make it wide. And epic and soaring, it just takes the whole thing to the next level. Amazing. Pure, pure artisan stuff, and that's what that channel is about. As I say, there are some bands that come through that are a bit too up their own anus, from my opinion, but not these guys. This is what it's all about. Super techy, super high level, but still emotional and moving and and deep and you just get you know you get locked into it such an incredible band and the way that they bring the two edges together of that speed of drumming and double bass and riffing tapping all the rest of it but then to have the vocal be slow and wide and open and have an atmospheric edge that's slow and wide and open and to just mesh those two layers together weave them in and out of each other blasting speed and pulse slowness and atmosphere and and swell Man, that's how you do it that's what it's all about the sickest music you can possibly imagine i say again that death metal and just musicians in general nowadays but particularly in death metal because that is where the top level musicians seem to get you know sucked towards it's a magnet for them uh the the, the quality of drummers and guitarists and stuff nowadays is incredible Man, particularly drummers. Used to get the odd cool drummer coming through here and there. Uh, you know, maybe the odd bassist here and there. People know Flea because he's a, gr a good bassist and all of that. Um, and, you know, the, the odd guitarist was, was renowned for being good at shredding and this and that. Well, the bands nowadays and the musicians in these kind of bands that are in just regular bands going under the radar, not super big, not renowned for being virtuosos or anything like that. These are a higher level than any musicians that have come before because these guys have used those guys in the past as inspiration but got taken it a step further taking it a step further and god knows if you're listening to this kind of stuff nowadays as a youngster and you're a guitarist or a drummer or something like that really getting into it and learning your scales and all the rest of it you know what comes after this once this has been your inspiration uh, and this is all you know in terms of tech death you know and you want to take it to the next level what's going to come next you're just going to absolutely melt your ears uh, your brain out your ears sorry it's going to be incredible music but then the standard of musicianship nowadays in bands in just regular bands is incredibly high artisan high man so amazing i hope you enjoyed these bands again i've absolutely loved making a video again even though it spent an hour of my time ended up exactly 32 minutes again is where we got to uh but yeah i actually enjoyed these tracks 
more so the second time round. So go off again now yourself and listen to them again or just rewind the video if you don't mind hearing me yabbering on about it as well. Uh, because these, these are the kind of bands that the more times you listen to it, uh, the better it gets because you can't take it all in. You can't take all the riffs in and everything that's happening in this kind of music on your first listen. So the more times you listen to it, the more things you take in uh, and the more grooves you can get into and follow along with and all the rest of it. Man, such incredible music, such high level musicians uh, and just the kind of music that I've been spinning lately on this channel. Um, super high level music uh, that's going under the radar, that needs more people to listen to it. Although I do understand that, you know, there's only so many people that can get on board with this music because it's just, it is difficult listening. You know, if you're looking for a regular verse chorus, verse chorus track with a couple of chuggy riffs and a chorus, yeah, this is going to be way over your head. But I'm going to keep pumping it out through the channel because I friggin' love it. I, you can't get enough of it. This is my jam all day long. And I do want to just kind of push this on as many people as I can via my channel and say, look, if you're not into this stuff yet, give it a chance. Check it out. See if you can get on with it. Give it a few more listens uh, because you might suddenly find that you're into brutal progressive tech death as well. Uh, whereas you've just been into hardcore or something else before, some caveman stuff. I hope you enjoyed that today, guys. I've absolutely loved it. I'm buzzing after checking out these high quality bands on the channel just lately. Uh, seeing the musicians, seeing musicians like this and checking out music like this just gives, gives me a smile on my face because it's so friggin' dope. Hope you have a good one. We'll see you around tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.